In this video, we'll review the recipe uh, entry method for the option of having regrind in the recipe using the uh, Conair True Blend SB2 control. Uh, we have the control here, uh, which comes with the machine, but for demonstration purposes, we have it hooked over an Ethernet cable to this touch screen, which I'll be using for the demonstration. So from the home screen, to change the recipe, you press the recipe button here, and it brings up the recipe screen, which is indicated here at the top of the screen. It tells you what screen you're on. And at this point, we're running all naturals in our recipe, which requires they add to 100. Okay? In this example, we have 60, 30, 5, and 5. Of course, it adds to 100. If we wish to make one of these regrind, we push the options button, and it brings up the option button for the recipe screen, indicated here at the top, recipe options. To change the material, we simply press this and select regrind. So now component two has been set for a regrind. We push back, and it returns to the main recipe page which you can see now does no longer add up to 100 because the naturals don't add up to 100. So what we're trying to execute here is that a batch that we create, 30% of the batch will be regrind, which in this example, the regrind already contains all of the components of the blend. In other words, it already has the natural that's here and it has the two additives contained within it. So we only want to add these other ingredients uh, based on the remainder of the batch, which will be 70% of the batch size. 30% of the batch size is going to be regrind. It already contains the sum of these three components. So it, we, we need to just add in these amounts uh, for the remaining 70% of the batch size, which again has to add to 100. So in this case, Just for demonstration purposes, I'll change it to 90 and we have the green light here and we're ready to go. So to commit the new recipe into the operational recipe, we again press the automatic button, which on the next batch will add the regrind into the system. So let's return to the home screen and see how this affects the operation of the blender. Okay, on the home screen, you can see the batch hop hopper dumped out. Now we're going to execute the new batch, which is a one pound batch, it always adds the regrind first. And since we added the regrind first at 30 percent, you'll see this on the next batch, since we're making a one pound batch, it should put in about a third of a pound. So it'll do that, put in about a third of a pound, and then it starts with the minor ingredients, puts those in next, and finishes off with the main ingredient to approach your one pound batch. Dumps it out, mixes it, that dumps that out into the process. This concludes the basic entry operation for the regrind mode for the extrusion mode. We'll see you in other videos where we discuss other topics.